Hey, Fire Signs, welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading. I'm going to tip you down here so you guys can see your cards. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check out my description box below for any details that you need to know. And let's get started. Wow. Knight of Pentacles and Ace of Cups just flew out. I'm not going to take them because I haven't started just yet, but most definitely some positivity. I just want to get your energy into the cards here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for today in love. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, three cards please, one overall. Right, Aries, the Five of Wands. Leo, there's the Ace of Cups for you guys. And Sagittarius, the Chariot. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles, crowning the energy. The basis or foundation for this reading is the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so... Whatever situation you guys are all dealing with, this is fated. It is karmic. It is moving into the next phase of your situation. Um, you put a lot of time and energy into something that, for, or someone that has kept you waiting for quite some time. Let's see what our Aries... Why is all this conflict going on? This could be a lot of inner conflict as well. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been to battle. You have been going rounds and rounds with somebody. Um, you have your guard up. You're not letting anybody in. There's a lot of outside voices, you know, like outside, you know, opinions that are, that you're dealing with. For some of you, your person could be very, like, um, worried about competition stealing you away. Um, but they're going about it the wrong way. You're sitting here investing in this connection, and they're what seems like making you put up your wall, putting up your defenses. Let's get one more for Aries here. You are going to move into um, a very fortunate period. Three of Cups, yeah. There could be or have been in the past um, a third-party situation, and now that's making that person very paranoid or you. Um, you could have had to wait a long time for this person to get rid of all the competition in their life. Um and now that the two of you are together, there's worry that there's still competition out there. You guys are going to move out of this situation. The nine is a completion. So you are going to move out of this. And there is more joyful times ahead because this person is going to stop holding out on you, holding back their emotions with that four cup in reverse. They're going to start telling you and showing you how they truly feel. All right, Leo, you are mastering that self-love. You're focusing on yourself. You're putting the time and effort and energy into making you great again, making you more confident, loving on yourself. Um, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, somebody broke your heart in the past, um, being in a connection that was very imbalanced with that Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So somebody was trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Somebody was trying to um, make you believe some illusions and delusions. There was a lot of uh, sneakiness, a lot of secrets held, but you broke free from that, and now you're slowly... Um, getting back to good again. This is, that person was meant to come into your life to teach you a karmic lesson. You got the lesson. You learned it. You're now mastering that self-love. It's taken some time. It's taken some energy and effort, but you're rocking it. So let's see what's coming in for Leo today. Five of swords and karma. Yeah, you, you're going rounds with somebody. There's a lot of conflict here still. This is, like I said, with karma, this is a karmic cycle, but you're almost there. That's two tens right there. You've completed this. Walk away. Use these swords to break free. Sometimes people will say shit just to hurt you. Um, it's time to walk away from that. You have a past life soulmate coming in for you in the next six days to six weeks. So don't get hung up on this person who's trying to um, pull a fast one on you. You have a beautiful connection coming in for you because <clears throat> you have mastered that self-love. I'm seeing for a lot of you six days. Most definitely a life partner is coming in in six days for Leo. All right, Sagittarius, you have the chariot. Let's see where you're moving. Where are you moving forward to? Leaving the past in the past, being supported and protected by the universe there, um, and allowing the, the universe to guide you wherever it may go with the two 
Yeah, Sphinx there, and then you got the Two of Wands. Wow. You're moving forward. You're picking a new path. Uh, you're using you're using your faith and your um, belief in the universe to lead you to your next journey. Uh, you also are coming into a very, very positive um, cycle. You got the King of Wands too, so you're taking action. You, uh, as a fire sign, most definitely are move the one moving forward. For some of you, you're moving forward with a partner, and uh, because you're tired of waiting for them to invest in the connection. Stars at the bottom, so you could uh, be heading towards some healing. But most definitely, if you're leaving somebody, this is your choice, not theirs. You're taking the reins. You're moving forward. If you're moving forward with a partner, it's moving towards a very balanced connection. It's taken a while to get here, but um, it it is. Yeah, Page of Cups, Seven of Wands. So you're winning the fight here to Four of Wands. You're moving towards stability. Um, there is a love offer here. There is an apology of why somebody was so defensive in the past. There could be a lot of conflict, a lot of arguments. And it's making you wonder, do I want to keep investing here? You are moving forward. You're leaving the past and the fighting behind. You're tired of it. You're taking a new path. For a lot of you, you're um, moving on, but it's your choice for um, a but for others of you, you have somebody coming in and apologizing for being so combative, so so argumentative, so, you know, trying to push you away. They're making an apology, and this is going to move into a very stable, very stable relationship. They're realizing what it is that you truly give to the relationship, and they're very thankful for you being in their life. And this is going to kind of change. After the full moon um, on the 31st, we have a lot of shifts going on, and it's going to change big time for you in a positive way. Uh, you and their mindset is going to change, moving you down a new path, but it is being led and guided by the divine. It is protected by the universe, and you're moving towards beautiful things. Aries, you may have a difficult day today, but Leo and Sagittarius, you are uh, most definitely moving towards positive things. Aries, it's just one day. We'll see you tomorrow, so keep your chin up, have faith, and know that the universe is magical, so believe in it. All right, guys, I'll see you later. God bless.